This week in 1964, Ranger 7 sent back the first close-up photographs of the moon, with images a thousand times clearer than anything you'd ever seen from Earthbound telescopes. In 1971 this week, the first men to ride in a vehicle on the moon did so in the Lunar Rover Vehicle. This sort of lunar dune buggy carried Apollo 15 astronauts David Scott and James Irwin for five miles on the lunar surface. Their first stop at the rim of Elbow Crater was televised back to Earth to millions of viewers. In 1977 this week, Tandy Corporation announced the TRS-80, one of the world's first mass-produced personal computers. It was sold by Tandy Corporation through their Radio Shack stores. The name is an abbreviation of Tandy Radio Shack Z80 microprocessor. And this week in 1998, Bell Atlantic Corp. and GTE announced a $52.88 billion stock swap deal to create the second biggest telephone company behind AT&T. The resulting mega corporation, later to be named Verizon Communications, would begin with 63 million local telephone lines in 38 states and a revenue of $53 billion. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History, brought to you by IFA in Berlin. IFA, the Global Innovations Show. 6,000 media representatives, 2,600 from abroad. It's IFA time. Meet the official partner of the future in Berlin. Be sure to check out our website anytime at intotomorrow.com. Catch our free podcasts while you're there and the many posts available on our site. We'll catch you next time on This Week in Tech History.